Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sharon and this is Classy Shades Designs. I'm glad to have you with me today. If this is your first time visiting us here at the Classy Family, then I encourage you to subscribe so that you can be a part of the Classy Family. And today's video, which is series number two of upscaling Goodwill or Yard Sale Finds, I want to show you how I turn this lampshade into this beautiful find. I want to give you a little background on what's going on here. I was at the Goodwill about two or three weeks ago and I found this beautiful lamp and I thought it was exquisite. Well, you know how much I love mirrors. It's going to go perfect in my space. So I could not pass it, but it didn't have a lampshade on it. And I've been looking and looking and looking for a lampshade and I thought that it needed to have just the right look. So I found this lampshade at the Goodwill a couple of days ago and I paid $1.99 for it. And it happens to be a perfect match for my lamp. I'm gonna start by removing the strip of ribbon. We're gonna go outside with our paint and spray paint. Okay. So while the lampshade is drying from the spray paint, and I have to share with you, it's looking beautiful. It's going to be gorgeous, even if I don't do anything else to it, just the coat of metallic silver spray paint on it has made it beautiful. But we are going to do more. We're going to do part two of this DIY, and that's create this paper flower with some bling wrap on it. So here's how we made this. I went ahead offline and I cut out the um, paper sizes that I want. Lay it down. So I have a four inch, three inch, two and a half inch, and a um, one and a half inch piece of paper that we're going to use to make our flower. And I'm just going to cut these into two inch strips, lay across there, two inch strips and I've already measured those out. And we'll need six of this size and we'll reduce our size each time. I'm just freehanding the leaf and it'll be better when I cut it out to kind of give me an idea of what I want to cut. Um, and we're gonna do this six times. Actually, I might make it a little bit wider here. Freehand. This is going to be my template that I'm going to use to make this loop. Not worry about the perfection of it because flowers aren't perfect. So that's going to be my template for this particular size. And then I'm going to take all of these and cut them based on this size. Okay, so I have my four sizes of my leaves for the rose all cut out. And I'm using this paper. Um, it's a dark paper that I found from a packet out of Joanne Fabrics. I'll show you this here. It's the um, cardstock premium paper. Normally when you have your rose, your leaf, you'll take it and you'll just hot glue it there and make it the leaf shape. What I'm going to do is bend the edges back with the pencil here to kind of help it to form into a leaf. And before I finish taping it, I'm going to tape a piece of my mesh and I'm going to hot glue the mesh onto the leaf. Here. And this is the part I hate because you do have to be careful not to burn yourself. Get your fingers all stuck in it. I'm covering the mesh with the hot glue. I pull it on the side so that this kind of helps hold it tight and gives the glue a chance to seep through. What you do is outline or cut the outline of the net. Now this is my own um, product and I do sell this on Amazon so I'll leave a link to it below where you can purchase it if you'd like to. This is a strength um, the strength of this netting is very strong, but it also allows you to cut the diamond studs or the rhinestones. It's got great sparkle in it. It's just very easy, and this particular one happens to be a 
um, 12 row there. So here it is with the ribbon on it. And I'm going to split the bottom along here. So there we have it split. We have our ribbon glued down. And the next step we'll do is now we will overlap this and bend the leaf back to make a leaf petal. We need to do this process. Let's put, go ahead and hot glue it so you can see that, how that works. Again, be very careful because the hot glue is hot. Yep, right there, got it. So we're gonna do this process for all of these petals. Let's go ahead and cup these together and I'll show you how. So we have our leaves now, all of our leaves set out. We've got two that are gonna be spray painted and two that are going to be non-spray painted. So from here, we're just going to take the leaves and make a bowl. And you're gonna need a lot of hot glue for these that have the diamond wrap rhinestone mesh on them because it has to soak through. So we're just going to overlap our leaves like this and allow that to dry. And then we'll take the next leaf and we're just gonna keep overlapping it until it forms a bowl. If done right, you should have a little hole right there in the middle. So I'm going to put a little glue on each one of these and layer the leaf on top of each other until I make my desired look. And with my last leaf and I'm going to place it on top of this one here and underneath that one there. So we'll put glue on both sides of that one here and then on the leaf right there. And we'll fit it in and glue it together. have all of our flower, our flower pieces. I spray painted this with a metallic gold. So now what we're going to do is complete our little flower. I'm going to glue this inside of here. So I'm put a good amount of hot glue on the back of this set of leaves. And we're going to just press it down inside of there. Kind of bend the flowers down around. That's how you make paper flowers, but we're just blinging them out. Do the same for this set. Put a amount of hot glue on the back of this paper flower. Put it down inside of there. That's how that's going to look. It's going to be so pretty. Our last little bud, I'm gonna put him down inside of here. He's so adorable, mommy. And glue him down. And let that dry. Now I'm going to take a little jewel rhinestone here. And I'm gonna take this kind of grayish one and stick it right down in the middle of there to Close that floor out. Ha ha ha, how pretty is that? So now we have these two flowers that we're going to put on our lampshade. Now the lampshade is dry and I brought it back in and you can already see how it's starting to look wonderful on its own, but we've gotta finish it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it with some ribbon, some um, of the diamond mesh ribbon around here at the top and the bottom, and then we'll add our special flowers. And here is the end result. Why don't you tell me what you think? Leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the Classy Family. We would love to have you here with us. See you next time, and as always, stay classy.